Good morning children. Let us start with today's thought. Focus on where you want to go, not on what you fear. Children, let us continue. Lesson 13, Directions and Maps. In the previous video, we have learnt about main directions and sub-directions. We have also discussed the compass rules and magnetic compass. Let us continue with the remaining part. Map Children, a map is a drawing or a visual representation of an area on a flat surface. Maps help to reach from one place to another. Maps show all the details of an area on paper. Map can represent large or small areas too. Map uses symbols or simple pictures to represent real things like park, buildings, rivers, mountains, sea, etc. Let us see parts of map in detail. Here, map of our Maharashtra state can be seen on the screen. Index is one of the main part of map. Children, index is a list of symbols used on map. Here, symbols that are used to represent different objects are given along with what they represent. Another important part is directions, which help to find out location of a object or place. Scale is also important in a map to read it or study it. Let us do an activity here. With the help of compass rose, we can identify the district near one of the district in different directions. We will place the compass rose on bead and find out different district in main directions. Children. This is compass rose placed on bead districts. In the east, Parbhani district is located. Ahmadnagar in the west. Jalna in the north. And Usmanabad in the south district of P district. Now let us find out location of our district on the map. Children, our district Nagpur is located here. Let us find out the direction from the compass rows. If we place compass rows in the center, Nagpur is in the northeast sub direction. Children, you can find out directions of different districts with the help of compass rows, keeping it on one of the district of Maharashtra state. Let us see the proportionate nature of map. Places in our surroundings are often located at some distance from one another. These places are also large in size. Maps are comparatively quite small. Therefore, the distance between these places has to be shown in a very limited space on a map. 
as you can see here in the picture. When we draw pictures of houses, fountains and people, we draw them to fit the size of paper we are drawing on. Right children? When you make drawings, you show different objects of the environment in your drawing. You show them in smaller size, right? So, it is the same while drawing map. While drawing a map, the distance between two places on the ground has to be shown in such a way that it fits the paper. The distance on the map is proportionate to the distance on the ground. Children, it means if you make a drawing, you can show different objects anywhere you want to show. But in maps, we have to show the perfect locations of the pictures with proper scale. Let us see what is a scale. The scale on a map represents the relation between distances on a map and on the ground. To understand this better, let us take an example here. Suppose the actual distance between place A and place B is 100 kilometers. Children, it is not possible to show 100 kilometers on a small piece of paper while drawing a map. So, the scale of 1 centimeter equal to 50 kilometers can be used on a map. Here, 100 kilometers can be shown in 2 centimeters as we have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 50 kilometers. Dear children, I hope you have understood the importance of scale while drawing a map. Here we have completed the lesson. Let us see what we have studied. Identifying subdirections, the compass rows, the proportionate nature of maps, the relation between distances on a map and on the ground. Children, go through the lesson thoroughly. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.